In seven seconds, AI designed these. So what does that mean for us as architects and designers? Does it mean we will be redundant and AI is the future of architecture? Well, today we're answering that exact question by using Midjourney and Interior AI to define where AI sits right now in 2023 as a tool and as the future of architecture. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And let's dive directly into this video with will AI be the future of interior design? So to assess this, we basically use interiorai.com, which is a free public resource you can jump onto right now on any web browser, upload an image and let it do the work for you. We ran through a couple scenarios with Interior AI. A couple of them were interior, yes, and a few of them were exterior, just to test the capabilities of the software. We used Interior AI first before we moved on to Midjourney, just for the simple fact, Interior AI is free, Midjourney is paid at the moment. So let's run through these scenarios relatively quickly. We started with an interior office fit out that we recently completed. The office fit out was quite nice but we uploaded it to Interior AI and gave it two different prompts, one for minimalistic and one for a modern fit out. Both of the results that it produced were pretty lackluster. So from the very first exercise, I wouldn't be too scared if you're an interior architect. To test Interior AI further, we actually took a photo of this exact office and killed all of the lighting, so it looks pretty basic. We gave it the exact same prompts as we did for the other interpretation. The images here were again, terrible. They had absolutely no value and they weren't really doing too much more to the space. They were just kind of uplifting the saturation and increasing the tones. So overall, this interior AI software for the pictures and images I had used as an example wasn't really making me fear too much for my job. But what happens when we let the AI run free with the exterior? Will AI replace architecture? To test the capabilities of AI against architecture as a whole, we uploaded one render to Interior AI as a starting point. This render is a real life project. It is under construction right now. And if you want to follow along, you can check out the journey in my Instagram profile down below. All the links are in the description and I'm sharing it in my highlight reels. Looking at the three images it produced, it did an overall okay job. It produced generic building design on a site that some actually looked like they could fit on the site, others, I don't know where it found these angles from. And the third one, well, it looks like that site continues 100 meters to the right. So all of these examples provided some value, I guess, to the overall architecture as a starting point. It provided some sort of guidance as how you could adapt, reuse, and potentially copy another architect's style. And it didn't really provide the level of detail that architects are paid for. It didn't understand the experience and knowledge needed to design something. It basically copied, pasted, and produced a pretty picture. So from this first test, I am in no way, shape, or form worried about my job. However, AI is advancing very, very quickly, and Midjourney takes it to a whole nother level. Let's start by taking this render. It is a very simple render. It is a very basic render of a massing form more so than anything. I asked Midjourney to convert it into a modern farmhouse and I gave it a few more prompts. I said, modern farmhouse, black design, some great landscaping, and a sports car in the photo. So I gave it quite a bit of detail to go off. Now, the design is in no way, shape, or form equivalent to what we produced originally. You'd have to do a lot of tweaking, a lot of changing to make this work, and it wouldn't fit the parameters of the site. But it was able to produce a very nice modern farmhouse that if you asked it to produce that prior to any knowledge of the actual starting point, you could have used this as a decent precedent study and gone, I like these shapes, forms, and then I'll use it to actually design something. The best part about Midjourney is you can ask it to create more variations of a version you like. So let's take one of these examples from that black farmhouse and ask it to regenerate. Now we're able to see that it's starting to understand the context of the imagery a little bit more. It's pulling more information and it's getting closer to what could be feasible on site. So if we look at the very last image generated, you could actually completely gut this project and reshape it to suit this modern black farmhouse. Obviously the landscaping contours, site mapping, none of it works. It would be nothing like this image when you were completed, but hey, it is still a very valuable exercise and a great starting point nonetheless. Now we've established Midjourney is a little bit more powerful than interior AI on the exterior for obvious reasons. 
So we throw in the same image, some simple comparative words that we use on Interior AI, and Midjourney spat out a few different results. Some of these architectural forms, shapes, and expressions I have seen real life projects of. I would definitely design something like some of these examples as well. So it's starting to actually interpret the architecture and evolve it and adapt it based on the prompts. With the right prompts, with the right tools, potentially Midjourney could be an even more impressive tool for the understanding and fundamental analysis of a site, but not the actual design. The problem with Midjourney is if you start throwing the wrong prompts in, it's gonna throw the wrong images out. So this example where I wrote people walking in the scene, it took it to a whole nother level. It basically created a futuristic commercial building that people were walking into. So it took the wrong prompt and latched onto that to create these beautiful images. Finally, I wanted to find out could you actually use your ARCHICAD model, your Revit model, whatever model you were creating as a 2D line work and let Midjourney interpret that with no prejudice. Allow it to use its creative AI technology to create whatever it wanted. So I took a couple screenshots out of ARCHICAD, straight line work of a project that I'm working on. And then I threw it into Midjourney and gave it very little prompt to see what it could produce and how it would actually interpret that data. The final result is nothing like what I would have expected. So what was a single story building perched on top of a small mound with a tennis court underneath turned into a variety of different projects. It elevated it from a single story to a multi-story apartment complex, billion dollar mansion. So what's the verdict? Will AI replace you as an architect in 2023? AI is definitely a powerful tool that's progressing and will be used more and more in the design journey of professionals as it actually develops and becomes better. Give it another 12 months, maybe 24, and it will be an incredibly powerful tool that all architects will be using across the world. However, at the moment, it is simply a copy paste procedure. It is finding images from other people, mashing it together and going, here you go. None of this works on a realistic site. And yes, the human interaction will still be required for a very, very long time to come. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more similar to that just the side of me. If you loved the video, hit that subscribe button. But like always, I'll see you next Monday.